Okay, so the next project on this 1969 Boss 302 is to upgrade the front suspension a little bit. For now, we're going to be keeping the factory control arms, upper and lower, and strut rods. But we're going to be doing a little upgrade to the front geometry of the suspension and reinforcing the outsides of the shock tower a little bit. So here we have these two plates. These are from Senko Specialties and they use these in the 1969 and 70 Boss 302 Trans Am Racing Series cars. And where they go is just behind here at the back of the shock tower and they get welded in. So we're gonna have to take out all of this, put that in, skip weld it in and then paint it and then put all the suspension back in. And while the whole front suspension's out, we're also gonna change the geometry of the upper control arms. And you do that by drilling two new holes, lower than the existing holes. And we bought uh, upper and lower control arms for the other Mustang that we have. And they gave us this plate from Global West and this is a one and three eighths inch drop. And we also have this plate from Senko Specialties and that they give you the option of a one inch drop or a one and three quarters inch drop. Um, since we're gonna be doing Global West with this car down the road, we're just gonna use the one and three eighths inch drop because they already have built in to their up control arms some minor changes. Their upper control arm relocates the upper ball joint already. So in addition to that, they only require the one and three eighths inch drop. So what you do with this plate is you um, take out your front suspension, bolt this plate in using the existing bolts, and then these are your pilot holes for your new holes, and then you drill holes the same size afterwards after you get your pilot holes in, and then you put your front, um, your upper control arms in those holes. So the result of lowering your upper control arms and relocating them is better cornering and a different, different geometry in your suspension. So you get a decrease in body roll as well and just better cornering in general. In order to do, to do all this, we're gonna remove the shock and then we're going to remove the bolts on the inside of the shock tower and the spring as well. And then the whole thing should just drop right forward so we can do all of our work. Okay, so we've got the front suspension out now, the up control arm. Uh, nuts just came off and we pulled the upper control arm out and zip tied it out of the way. It's just hanging there. So now we have access to the rear side of the shock tower where we can do our reinforcement and drop at the same time. We had to use a coil spring compressor to compress the spring and get it out. So that's the toughest part. Pilot holes first. Alright, so the new holes have been drilled out to half inch diameter and according to the new Global West upper control arms, they have to be 9 sixteenths, but if you're going to be reusing your stock upper control arms, they are a half inch bolt on the back of the control arm, so noted. Okay, so now that the control arms are out, we have room to put in this reinforcement plate and the reinforcement plate is two of the same ones and they can only go in one way with the angle to the back like that and then you just throw them in like that and then they get skip welded around various places around like that and it's supposed to reinforce the back of the shock tower from moving so I'm just going to take a sharpie mark around the outside so I know where to clean up the paint and bear it for welding and then we can weld that on. Just throwing a quick coat of primer and black paint on these reinforcement parts before I throw them in the shock towers. Okay, so this plate's ready to be welded in now. Um, been painted on both sides and 
bared around the edges where it's going to be welded. I'm just going to do some skip welds every few inches around the whole entire thing and then call it good. Throw a couple coats of paint on it afterwards. Okay, here's all the skip welds on the plate. Now we just need to wait for it to cool down and we can throw a couple coats of black on it and then call it good. The plate's been painted, the new holes have been drilled, now we can reinstall the front suspension. Alright, so this concludes the uh, upper control arm, geometry change drop, and the outer shock tower reinforcement install. Um, thanks for watching, hope that helps. And stay tuned for more. We still have to install the stroker motor. And I think that's it.